Hi there, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to lesson three in maths. Um, I just want to take the time to, we've been looking at a lot of the work that's been coming in today, so absolutely well done to everyone who's returned some. I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people who've just been on fire today, so well done. Um, we've got Michelle, Joseph, Ollie, Flynn, Finley and Delano in 3JW. You've all done some excellent work, so well done. I'm sure the rest of you have as well. It's just where I'm recording this today that um, those are the people that I've seen today. Um, in my class, well done to Leo, Pixie, Tommy, Mason. Some excellent work, so well done. Thank you very much. I know a lot of you are in my class already today at school, so um, you don't need to worry at all. And I look forward to seeing the rest of your work today. Um, and then you've got Harris. Harry, uh, Keris, Freya, Ashley and Mason in 3AH, you've done an excellent job as well, so fantastic, well done to you. I'm sure lots of you are still doing your work and getting ready to hand it in today, so well done and um, don't worry too much if you haven't got any done today. Um, we'll keep plugging away and get it done when we get it done. All right, so today in maths, again, we're looking at number lines. So I'm just gonna model a couple of number lines. Today is more about just consolidating the learning that we've already done in multiplication. So it is just practice over the next couple of days and then we'll move on. And some of the spices are really, really good. So make sure you have a go at those. Okay, so just gonna have another go, a quick reminder of how to use a number line. And hopefully this will work today. So going for green today. Uh, let's see, if we go with, let's go for a slightly easy one, then we'll move on to a slightly trickier one. If we've got two lots of four, or two times four. So I've written my calculation, I'm gonna do two lines down, one, two, and normally in class I would be using a ruler for this, but it's a little tricky sitting down and recording. So I'm gonna draw my number line. Always start with a zero. Now I want two lots of four or two jumps of four each. So straight away I know I can do two jumps. So I'm gonna do one, two, there's a two, two jumps. And I know I need four in each one. So it's two jumps of four. So I've got four in this one and four in this one. And as I've been talking about recently is if you find fours tricky to jump in, then just use skip counting and you can count in twos, which I'm sure most of you are really comfortable in doing. So you would go two, four, six, eight. So we know that two jumps of four equals eight. And you can use that for any number at all. And the, the larger the number comes, the easier it is to have a go at. Right, that's not true. It's not easier. Just a bit harder. Right, so we've got two times four. So let's have another go with the twos before we move on. So we'll go two times seven. Okay, so two times seven. Now, I know even as a teacher, my counting in seven isn't great. So instead, rather than doing two jumps of seven, I'm actually gonna flip that around because it's commutative and do seven jumps of two. So again, always starting with a zero. And this time I'm gonna flip it round. And I'm gonna do seven jumps of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going two, 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 two. Now, because I'm pretty good at counting in twos, I'm gonna have a go at doing this straight away. So I'm gonna go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Two lots of seven is 14. One number, one box, if you're using squared paper at home, uh, which would be great if you were. Right, okay, so I've got two times seven, I've done two times four. I'm gonna look at a slightly trickier one now, I think. So I'm gonna do um, seven lots of eight. Now, neither seven nor eight are particularly great ones to count in. So I'm gonna draw my number line. I'm wondering what's easier. Now, seven's an odd number. It's a bit of a tricky one to count in. Eight's an even number. So for eight, I could probably use my knowledge of the twos or the fours to have a go at it. So let's see, I've got a zero here, and I'm gonna do seven jumps of eight. So one jump, two jumps, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and we're going eight. So eights are quite tricky to count in. So let's just tilt that so you can actually see it. 
and might end up with just a little me in the corner, but that's okay. So again, now eights are in the two times tables. So I can use twos and I could go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So can you see there's four numbers there straight away? One, two, three, and then my fourth number comes down here. One, two, three, my fourth number comes down here. So again, I'm 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. One, two, three, so I'm skip counting and I'm doing every fourth number, okay? So then I can go 24, I can go 26, 28, 30, 32. One number, two number, three number, fourth number. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Now I know 40's got a zero in it. I can see it's got a zero in it. So I know that eight times five is 40. So I'm just gonna double check. One, two, three, four, five jumps, 40. So I must still be going right. So then I'm 40, and then because that's a zero number, I know automatically that's gonna be 48. 48, 50, 52, 54, 56. Seven lots of eight equals 56, okay? So you can use that form of counting when you're using a number line as well. And if you need to put the little numbers on top, that's fine. If you decide you don't want to use the little numbers on top, that's absolutely fine as well. And if for some of you, you still feel much more comfortable using an array, please make sure you do. You solve the calculation how you think it's done. Now for some of you on the Google documents, you've just been putting the answers there. That's great because I realize it's pretty tricky to use the number line. But could I ask inside brackets, that you show me what method you've used. So if you've used a number line, put number line in brackets, just NL. If you've done it mentally, and you know seven times eight is 56, if you could do an M inside brackets, just like that, that would be great. And if you used an array, put an A and put those in brackets as well. So that way I can really get an idea on how you're solving the calculations, which makes it much easier for me to plan for what we'll be doing next. Now, for the online learning, a lot of it will just be practicing things that we already know because making progress is quite hard without being able to talk to you all at the same time. Um, so yeah, please, if you could put A, N, L, or M inside brackets next to your answer, that would be really helpful for me. Thank you very much, stay safe. I look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, bye-bye.